Hi everyone and welcome to this new Geo Tracker for Blender tutorial that will help you improve tracking accuracy with the lock view option. Let's say we are tracking this rotating globe, but it's hard to say if our geometry is exactly where it should be in each of these frames as we'd want it, so maybe it needs a bit of refinement, but we really can't see it because the globe in the clip just keeps spinning and wiggling. So this is when we can use the lock view option which will stabilize the clip by locking the view to a specific point on our geometry. Let's go ahead and click on the lock view button here in the tracking tab or press L on the keyboard and with no pins selected Geo Tracker will just snap the view to our geometry. So we can now go back and forth along the timeline and easily see if the motion of our geometry matches the one of the object in the clip. We can drag our clip to any place in the viewport, it's gonna stay there and the view will still be locked to our geometry. The same button is repeated over here just below the viewport, so we can lock and unlock the view using that button too. Now let's see how that function is gonna work if we select a random pin on the surface of our geometry. If your pointer is right above the mesh, you need to hold shift before drawing a selection with a left mouse button like this. So when we hit play, everything is gonna move and rotate around the selected pin, which means the view is now locked exactly to that pin. Let's try to do the same with a group of pins. So we make a selection again, and now you see that the view is locked to some central point between the selected pins. So that's basically how this feature works. It's a very useful tool when you need to make something like a frame to frame comparison. Just to give you an example, let's go to the first frame and drop a pin on these crossing lines. For a perfect tracking, we expect this pin to remain on that crossing in all the consequent frames. So let's check it. And as we move the playhead forward, we see that our pin is drifting away a little. Let's adjust its position in one of these frames. And as we do so, GeoTracker creates a manual keyframe, which is this green dotted line over here. We can now hold Alt and press the arrows on the keyboard to jump between these keyframes to compare the pin position in them and make sure we've made the correct adjustment. If you don't hold Alt while hitting left and right, you'll just go one frame forward or backwards. The lock view option also works while tracking is in progress. Let's delete all these keyframes, select one pin over here and hit track forward. As you can see Geo Tracker is stabilizing the clip on the go too. That's basically it, just keep in mind that lock view itself doesn't improve your tracking but it's a very useful tool that helps you get better tracking results easier and quicker. Download the latest version of Geo Tracker for Blender and check out our other products at keentools.io. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Don't forget to hit the bell to get notified about our new tutorials and streams. Thank you for watching and see you in the next videos.